All right, everyone, it is the moment that we've all been waiting for. Woo! I got my second opinion. All right, I just got off the phone with them, or it was a Zoom. It was a Zoom, and there was like a medical oncologist, there was like a breast surgeon, um, there was a uh, radiation oncologist. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like. <laughs> There was a, another lady there and I forgot what she was there for. Um, the pathologist chimed in, but sh they weren't actually there. Um, they were just confirming things and then just like sent that through. Um, and then uh, one other person that was kind of like leading the whole thing. Um, and my sister was there too, um, to take notes for me. But anyways, so it was like on a panel on a zoom panel and it was really helpful i'm feeling very good about my second opinion um validating some of the things that i've been thinking about um so let's go ahead and get into it um if you're new to my channel because we've got some newcomers hi i'm Brittany, and um i am a metastatic breast cancer um thriver since october of 2022 so thanks for joining in um i have been considering getting a second opinion and i finally got one for free they only take three patients a month through the secondopinion.org so i'm really excited about this all right so basically some questions that i had asked were um if I do surgery, then like, do I have to stay on the targeted therapy? Um, and basically what they're saying is that like, I've been really responsive to the target therapy and the hormone therapy. They don't exactly know what is making me so responsive, but I'm basically like a medical anomaly in a sense of like, they're not used to seeing people respond so well to treatment as I have responded to. Um, so there's not a lot of data of people in my type of situation. So guess what, guys? I'm special. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, so they did say, though, that like, you know, it is what I want. And I think that I really enjoyed just the difference of like the way that they responded to my questions versus like what my doctor responded they did say that the reoccurrence rate would be very high but also that the reason why that they're saying that is because they're not used to seeing a bunch of people in my circumstance um and seeing how it carries out through the long run because target therapy is such a new type of treatment um so again that extra context makes me feel better in general as well of like, yeah, they're not able to give me all of the data, but it's because I'm special. <laughs> um, but anyways, they also said too, like if it's gonna help my anxiety and stuff, um, just to go through the surgery and do the surgery, um, but they would also recommend like a little bit of radiation for me after, but because I'm young and I've been so responsive to everything, it probably won't be a bad experience for me. Um, it'll probably be like pretty good and it would only be like one to three weeks of radiation um so you know basically they're validating the fact that i do want the lump back to me they said whether or not it helps in the long term is kind of debatable like some people are like yes and some people are kind of like it doesn't you know make any difference in the end and they really don't know right they don't know um but I think just the way that they're validating and saying like, hey, you know, like we would recommend that like if you want to get a lumpectomy and then you want to do a week to three weeks of radiation and then stay on, you know, a lower dosage of the target therapy, then that's totally fine. Right. Or the hormone therapy. And then they also mentioned that there's a ton of different options left for me still, um, which is really helpful that like even if I don't like the one that I'm on right now, um, the Cascali, which overall has been doing better. But if I don't want to like increase the dosage, um, that it's okay after I do the surgery, you know what I mean? So all of the things that I kind of just really wanted to hear and get validated, I felt like I got heard, I got validated. The Zoom was only like 20 minutes and they answered all of my questions like in that amount of time and like, 
I I asked as well. Um, well, I asked previously. I didn't ask it directly, um, but they mentioned it as well. Um, that the reason why that they don't like reclassify stage four is that because once it moves around your body, that um, they can be like microscopic molecular cancer cells in the body. And so that's why that they don't really reclassify you once you become stage four. Um, so that was said without me actually like having to answer, ask the question. Um, but overall, I feel good. I feel like just hearing the difference between like how they talk to me versus how my doctor talks to me and answers my questions as well, like was a big help. Like they never said like, we don't recommend blah, blah, blah. It was more of like, if this is what you want, in the end, it's up to you. This is what we recommend type thing. Um, so that's good. Yay! Future Brittany here. Sorry the ending got caught off, but thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye!